Michigan is the 10th state to legalize recreational pot. It's now been six years. States now have retail stores like this one where these people sell stuff that a few years ago would get you thrown into jail for buying. Thank you very much. This is a store in California. That one's really good. Just like a normal business, though for years experts warned that this would lead to disaster. It's illegal for a reason, and, and it should stay that way. Opponents say the law will increase crime. They said if, we, if you do this, if you allow this, there's going to be more crime and everybody getting high. Definitely not what we've seen. Of course, marijuana store workers praise legalization, but maybe other people see the problems. Are horrible things happening? Nope. Nothing? Nope. No horrible things that I know of. There were all these predictions of disaster. And do you see any disasters? It seems pretty all right to me. I live in downtown Los Angeles. There's a dispensary around the corner from my house, and it's actually probably cleaned up the corner. Why would it clean up the corner? They have a lot of security, so they really pay attention to who's on the sidewalk, who's interacting with their customers. They're actually pretty much a class act. Of course, there are some problems. My friends just cannot, con they just stoned out. They can't even concentrate on school. But that also happened before legalization. Researchers found more teenagers said it was easier to buy illegal marijuana than beer. It's been around on the streets being used anyways. It's not like it's any more difficult or easier now. Three, two, one. The entire nation of Canada legalized recently. The first legal receipt awesome. issued in Canada. Now that weed is legal, I don't have to feel the... Legalization! <laughs> I don't know the word, but it's not a negative thing anymore, which it shouldn't be. The disaster you predicted hasn't happened. I think it has happened. Paul Chabot is a drug warrior who served in both the Clinton and Bush administrations. Before legalization, he told me changing the law would lead to disaster. We know statistically the drug usage numbers are going to skyrocket. He hasn't changed his mind. Uh, the numbers are clear. Colorado youth have an 85% higher marijuana use rate than the rest of the country. Really? Surveys we found show teen use did not increase. You get this from some prosecutor who wants to lock people up, but the New England Journal of Medicine says the proportion of high school and middle school students who reported using marijuana dropped. Yeah, these studies have some major issues with them. They're not looking at Denver or El Paso counties. They, they look at the overall population. I sure would trust the New England Journal more than some DA you found. Well, it's not DA, it's actual research. This is your brain on drugs. Americans have long been told that marijuana does scary things to people. Under the influence of the drug, he killed his entire family with an ax. In reality, marijuana rarely leads to violence. But what if people drive while stoned? Pot driving fatalities in Colorado up 151%. But that statistic is misleading. The active chemical in weeds stays in people's system for weeks, so some of those people may not have been high when driving. But Colorado police say that cannabis-involved driving deaths are up. We want to make the problem smaller. America once tried making its drinking problem smaller by banning alcohol. That, like the drug war, created organized crime and much more violence. <laughs> Prohibition hasn't worked. Just because something doesn't work doesn't mean that we end it. You know, poverty, for example. It doesn't? No, it doesn't mean we, we quit. But at some point, when it's doing more harm than good, well, shouldn't we quit? No, because then we give up. And that's not American. America did eventually give up on alcohol prohibition. Beer was back after 13 years, a long time between drinks. Once I'm an adult, this is my body. Shouldn't it be my choice what I, if I want to poison myself? No. And yet, today, for the first time, surveys show that most Americans say marijuana should be legal. New York and New Jersey are likely to legalize soon. So far, letting adults make their own decisions about what to put in their own bodies has been working out pretty well.